Yo 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 everyone, welcome back to Earth ID YouTube channel. In today's video, we're going to dive into a topic that's essential for everyone working with data analysis using Microsoft Excel. We'll be exploring how to install the data analysis tool pack in Excel. So whether you're a student, a professional, or just someone curious about data analysis, this video is for you. First thing first, let's understand what the data analysis tool pack is and what you might need in your Excel toolkit. The data analysis tool pack is an add-in for Microsoft Excel that provides powerful statistical and analytical tools. It's like unlocking a whole new set of capabilities that go beyond what Excel offers out of the box. If you're usually working with Excel and typing some function like sum, or standard deviation, variance, or etc., now you just need to do some clicks and almost the whole common statistical measurements you can obtain it in a few clicks now you see at the data menu here there is nothing at the right top corner of your skin this is where the data analysis appear when you activate the tool pack so go to file options and then at the dialog box click add ins and here click the analysis tool pack so you can activate it and then click at the bottom click go remember click go not okay and you can see the add ins dialog box and activate the analysis tool pack here until you see the check button and click okay now you see at the data menu there is one more option that you can see name analysis and there is data analysis option here that you can choose to activate the simple statistical analysis process you can click here you see the whole function that you can use from ANOVA correlation covariance until uh, Z-test and let's try the first one for descriptive statistics just click it click OK at the input range click the data that you want to analyze and then there is no label OK and we need to check the summary statistics because we need to know the summary of the data and output range click where the data you want to show here and then click OK well you get about oh, 10 maybe more a common statistical function from measure of uh, dispersion or measure of central tendency here just by a few clicks that's it. See you in another video.